Okay, so I'm gonna show how I adhere one of my pulp paintings onto the armature. And I'm gonna use PVA glue. This is by Linaco, and I use this glue all the time. It's natural adhesive, it's pH balance. And this board was built for me by the person who does my framing. It's got one inch of gator board on it. This is the gator board. And then the back of the board looks like this, right? So it's built so that it's gonna be three and a half inches. And we have the D-rings on the back of the board. See, these are the D-rings. And it's very well built. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So what, and then he puts gesso on the board. Um, and I have scored the board so that it will hold the, um, the glue better. And the painting itself has been created on fiberglass screening, which I've just removed, okay? So I'm gonna glue the back of the painting with the PVA glue and set it aside, and then I'm going to glue the board as well. And I glue both surfaces because you really need a lot of glue for this project, for this purpose. So I've scored the board with, a, you know, just a utility knife. And then I use an old credit card or an old museum, um, or not museum, a hotel room key works real well for an old any kind of an old pass you know plastic pass like this credit card or ATM card and I find it works really well to get the um, glue around the surface and you can see how some of the egg crate patterning is showing up <clears throat> I make the pieces on a um, vacuum table that has egg crating, um, a, a layer of egg crating. You'll probably see it um, when I remove the frame. So it'll pick it up a little bit. I ha you have to be careful when you have egg crating on your vacuum table if you're um, using the fiberglass screening, because if you press down too much, you're gonna pick up the pattern of the egg crating into your artwork. So sometimes if your artwork is thinner, you're better off maybe doing two layers of fiberglass screening um, between, you know, underneath where you, when you pour your pulp and then you're pretty sure not to pick up the patterning of the egg crating. Uh, I've done it <laughs> more times than I care to remember or admit. So you gotta be careful about that. Because once your paper dries, it's very hard to get rid of the egg crating patterning. <clears throat> 